Jersey investors, I'm going to show you how to pull off a bird deal for less than $100,000. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV subscribe follow like on whatever platform you're getting your holton wise tv if you'd like to see our premium content you could join the channel on youtube it's 4.99 a month and you will see all of the mls search and analysis shows right we've got close to a thousand of those as i talk to you all today and then on top of that if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, get your own customized videos send an email to sales at holtonweiss.com give your phone number to my team we'll call you and you get your own video like charles and jeanette real estate investors from new jersey and like i said at the top chucky boy Hope I can call you Chucky boy. <laughs> I'll stick with Charles. All right, Charles and Jeanette, I'm going to show you how to do a bird deal for less than 100 grand. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to do a bird deal for $90,000 because that is what you asked me to do. You ask, and I, what is it? What do they say? What's that phrase, Steve? You ask, I, uh, you ask. Your wish is my command. You ask, I acquiesce. I don't know. I don't you know. You shall what? receive. Yes. You ask and you shall receive, folks, right after this commercial break. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America. That's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers of this bird deal, right? Just so everyone's aware, if you're new to the show, new to real estate, you don't know what a bird deal is, you think I'm cold? I mean, I'm a cold son of a bitch, you know what I'm saying? But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about an acronym. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, okay? This is a great candidate for it, okay? 4214 Trowbridge Ave, Cleveland, 44109. It's been on the market for three weeks, the price sixty two nine. This thing is screwed up. Screw that up. Screw that. Up. Let me do it again. This thing is screwed up. I'm trying to get my Bruce Buffer in here. All right, this property's jacked. Okay, and to pull off a bird, you need a jacked property, folks. Right? Because the idea here is you buy a property cash. Right? You buy it cash, it's so screwed up, you got to renovate it, and you add value, right? After you renovate it, you put tenants in there. You want the bank to appraise it for a price higher than your acquisition and rehab costs, right? That way you can get into the deal for less money than normal. And this thing is friggin' jacked, man. First of all, it's got wood paint on the outside, right? It's not vinyl sided, right? So you got peeling paint all over this thing. Probably lead based paint if I had to guess, right? So that's going to add some costs. You're going to have to take care of that big old house like this, peeling lead based paint everywhere. The inside is no better. Nothing's going to remain untouched, right? Everything in this particular property needs to be taken care of. This is truly a jacked up property, but it's a very large property, right? It's a big old duplex, and it's ugly, man, but we want it to be ugly, right? This is good. This is great. How gross this is is why you can pick it up for such a low price, okay? All this peel and paint that's just begging for us as investors to come in and turn a profit on this thing. Let's talk the neighborhood real quick, all right? Let's talk the neighborhood. Let me pull up the map for you. I think this is an awesome neighborhood, awesome opportunity, okay? Now, when I say awesome, that doesn't mean it's like, you know, like high end or like rich folk are going to like live there. Okay, no. 
Uh, awesome in regards to rental property investing. As a matter of fact, this is my favorite rental property investment area in the city of Cleveland and the entire Cleveland market. But if you view my ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you'll see I grade this as a D-grade neighborhood, right? This is the type of neighborhood you want to do Section 8. This is the type of neighborhood you're going to run into a lot of tenants uh, with high risk, right? But it's my favorite, my absolute favorite right because we don't make any money invest in those a-grade neighborhoods folks that's for owner occupied people right if we're looking at the uh areas in which we can make money right c and d right it's our bread and butter okay our bread and butter is c and d and i think this one has the most upside right that's the house where the little green dot thingy is right house and then this right here is metro health right down the street right you walk your dog well more accurately your tenants could walk their dog right down trail bridge get to metro health i've talked about this many times the reason i like houses near metro health is because that hospital is investing a billion bucks into that campus you see right there down the street from this particular property as well as the surrounding neighborhood they're doing low-income housing and everything right so if there is a lot of c and greed c and d grade neighborhoods in the in the cleveland area right there's a lot of them right we had no shortage of that around here right why would you want to invest in any one of them other than the one that's getting a billion dollar injection in addition to that if you guys, you know, on a national level are looking at Cleveland, hearing about the resurgence of Cleveland, what they're talking about, like calling Cleveland the comeback city, what they're talking about, okay, they're talking about neighborhoods like Tremont, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, downtown Cleveland, Lake Erie area, right? These are all incredibly expensive areas. Those types of neighborhoods, you ain't getting houses for 60 freaking grand over there, no. Like, they're building new construction houses for five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars in those areas, right? Those have already been gentrified. Those have already faced a turnaround. Well, guess what? Our property borders, all of them, right? This Clark Fulton Metro Health area is just south of all the hot stuff, and it's getting a billion-dollar investment, right? So what I like to do to deal with the existing risk of a low-income neighborhood I go Section 8 on my rentals over there, right? Because Section 8 is the cheat code, right? Now, when we're dealing with low-income rentals, that's the biggest problem is people can't get the rent all the time. And then, of course, we have to evict them. And then when we evict them, the property it goes vacant. Once the property's vacant, vandals can come in and screw it all up. Then you got to pay renovations and then re-renovations, leasing fees, releasing fees. You're not getting any rent. It's a whole downward spiral. You can circumvent all that, cut it all off, get rid of all the bad juju if you could solve one problem, and that is being able to keep your tenants in your unit paying your rent. And you do that by making the government pay it because the government pays every single month, folks. So that is why I love Section 8. Now, let's talk numbers. Numero uno's. They're asking 62.9. The property is horrible, right? What are you going to do? How do we make this thing make money, right? I dig the neighborhood, but none of that matters to you unless it makes you money, right? As far as rents go, after we renovate this, you'd be looking at $1,500 a month or $18,000 a year, right? As far as what you get to keep out of that under normal projections using fixed and variable expense estimates, right? Eighteen k is supposed to come in for the year. Normal operating expenses, you paying Holton Wise to handle everything for you, I believe you will net approximately $8,872.92 a year. Won't be the same every year, okay? You know, some years are going to be good, some are going to be bad, faster femen. Uh, when you have to do things like replace a roof, replace a hot water tank, things of that nature, right? Obviously, your return for that year is going to go down. That's why I average it out with the vacancy, non-payment, repairs, maintenance, and CapEx, right? I average all that out. Those are some variable expenses, right? As far as price, I think we're going to have to pay uh, six, or uh, I'm sorry, as far as price, they're asking sixty two nine. I don't think we can pay sixty two nine because we're gonna have to put sixty thousand dollars into this, right? Sixty thousand dollars is gonna have to go into this thing because it's all screwed up, man. Right? Just the exterior stuff alone with the lead based paint, that's gonna run you a bunch of money. We're looking at 
Oh, I don't know. Anywhere between 10 and 20K inside each of those units. Probably going to have to do the roof like 7K. Furnaces, 3K a piece. Hot water tanks, maybe 1K a piece, right? So just ballparking it from where I'm standing in my studio right now. Obviously, we haven't done a third-party inspection, which if you go under contract on this property, that's what you'll want to do. I anticipate a renovation cost of approximately 60K. That means paying 62 Nine is not doable, right? What makes sense is paying 30 for it. And I think that lead-based paint is going to scare a lot of people away. Holton Wise, we deal with the lead-based paint certifications. We have no problem handling that stuff, right? We do a lot of things out here that a lot of other property management companies and construction companies don't like dealing with, right? They don't like these lead-based paint things. We're fine with them, right? All the lead-based paint stuff, that's new, right? Holton Wise, we're covered, right? We got it under control, right? You know what else property managers and uh, stuff like that around here don't like to do? They don't like to deal with Section 8. As I said, if you're going to invest in these types of neighborhoods, Section 8, in my opinion, is the cheat code to success. So we, of course, handle Section 8, right? I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate like this, and I'm telling you, the best way to run these types of properties is with Section 8 tenants, we handle all the Section 8 stuff for you guys. Go check out our fact on HoltonWise.com if you don't believe me, right? So pick it up for 30. Holton Wise can handle the reno. I anticipate it being approximately 60. That puts you all in at 90K. 90K into the deal. At that point, I believe the bank will appraise it at approximately 100K, right? We created $10,000 of equity doing the deal the bank gives you back 75 of your original 90 meaning you only have fifteen thousand dollars into the deal and that folks would turn out to be a 34 percent estimated cash on cash return not bad for being able to do it passively not bad for being able to do it with less than a hundred thousand dollars not bad for being able to do it without doing any of the dirty work Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.